coming at you guys from the abode of awesome with a special little feature for you in which we're going to entitle how to make a good Superman movie. Now for those of you who saw my recent video in which I actually took the last Man of Steel trailer and added a couple of different audio cues in there, in this case the original Superman music, you'll obviously understand that I'm extremely excited for the upcoming Superman movie and rightfully so. Now a lot of people don't seem to be excited about it. So before you go into this movie expecting the worst, or for that matter don't even do any research on it, which I did recently for a movie a couple of years ago, and it didn't work out too well. Ugh. Anyway, so I figure I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a heads up as to why you don't really need to be concerned about this movie being a flop, alright? And in order to do that, I'm going to use the original Superman movie as a blueprint. And not just a blueprint for this Superman movie, but also for any superhero movie. Superman the movie being the first ever comic book movie that got it right and it figured it out how to make it work. First things first, we have to talk about the simple fact that you need a good story in any movie, not just a superhero movie, but especially a superhero movie. Now why is this important with this new Superman movie? Simple. Superman, the character, is a cosmic alien creature from from out of this world. So you gotta ground the, rea the story in reality, and that's where these wonderful writers come in. Now, if you don't know, the writers of this Man of Steel movie are Jonah Nolan and David S. Goyer. Now, if those names don't ring a, a bell for you, I will elaborate on that. Those two are two of the three that created the Dark Knight trilogy. Now, that's enough reason to be excited right there. But, you know, you know this guy right here? Him? Yeah. He's producing it. Yeah. The guy, this, this, this genius here is producing the movie. Henceforth, you've got all three of the Dark Knight trilogy creators, if you will, involved in this new Superman movie. And that is a good thing. That is a very good thing. And on that note, not only do you have to have the story grounded and centered on reality. You have to flush the characters out in the story. You have to have a grounded story to do it. You need good actors for this, all right? And with that in mind, let's talk about the actors I've got in this Man of Steel movie. We've got Lawrence Fishburne is the first quote-unquote questionable choice for this movie because he's playing Perry White. Now, now, on that same note of questionable people they brought in to act, we have another young lady who, uh, in this clip right here, uh, she's running with Lawrence Fishburne's character Perry White. Now, a lot of people are wondering who she is. Who is that? Well, rumor has it that she is Jenny Olsen. Now, why is it Jenny Olsen? Simply, that's because everyone's like, wait a minute, it's Jimmy Olsen. Jimmy Olsen is Superman's pal. He doesn't have Jenny, it's Jimmy. So, they could have taken a little bit of liberty with that one. But, you know, I'm excited to see if this is what it is. If, if, if she is Jenny Olsen, and she is Superman's pal with benefits, Then, for the first time ever, Superman will have sexy Earth parents. They've got Kevin Costner and Diane Lane to portray Jonathan and Martha Kent. Now that is just awesome. Because for the first time ever, you, I mean, I can see Jonathan Kent being played by Kevin Costner. That works! I can see Diane Lane like that. You need to get an actor of legitimacy to make it work. You need at least one. It's actually... Jor-El. It's the father of Superman. And that was a wonderful coup that they took it, for, this movie took it again from the Superman movie, the original one. In the original one, you had the godfather himself, Marlon Brando, as Jor-El. Perfect casting. Perfect. Now, what do you do when you don't have a Marlon Brando? You go and you get the next best thing in Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe is going to be Jor-El in this movie. Enough said. I don't even need to say anything else. It's awesome. Then you add a villain. You need a good villain. We do get Zod, played by Michael Shannon. General Zod, played by Michael Shannon. How awesome is that? That is just so cool. So yes, Michael Shannon as Zod. I can see that. Let's do it. Now you need to focus on the main thing. What made the other Superman movies so wonderful was the fact that it had these epic elements around a central love story. 
you know. You've got Amy Adams to play Lois Lane. An Academy Award nominee? Pfft. Let's see how this goes. I'm down with that. I mean, just look at her eyes, man. Look at, look at the feeling. I, you can feel that. I almost was in tears when I saw that. Because she's hot. So I was in tears as she was with the other guy. And on that note, let's talk about the one thing that has to make this movie work. It has to. It ha it's the main character. It's Superman. Now, I'm not going to debate anything as to who is Superman. Because here's the thing. What made the other Superman movies so great, even if they were uh, Quest for Peace or the Richard Pryor one, even still, what made those movies work more than anything else on this man. Soak it in. That's Superman. That is Superman. And that will always be Superman because he got it. I don't know what it is, but Christopher Reeve is has and will always be Superman. Now how in any shape or form do you combat that? F simple. You find actors who resemble him. You take a look at Tom Welling, you take a look at Brandon Routh, you take a look at Dean Cain, you take a look at all the characters, all the actors who have portrayed the Man of Steel, they all kind of resemble him, specifically Brandon Routh. And on that note, we bring in a relative unknown in Henry Cavill. Now you guys don't know who he is? How about this picture right here? No? Okay, fine. They released a new poster. How about this? No? Okay, fine, 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 fine. What about this shot right here? You get it? This is why it'll work. So, trust me when I tell you this movie has everything you need. It has a story grounded in reality with the epic scale. Then you've got the actors. You've got Kevin Costner, Lawrence Fishburne, Diane Lane, Russell Crowe, Michael Shannon, Amy Adams. On top of everything else, you've got this awesome Henry Cavill looking just like the Man of Steel should. It's going to work because of that wonderful verisimilitude based in reality writing staff that has created the Dark Knight trilogy. So with that in mind, guys, you have nothing to worry about. This movie is going to work on all levels it needs to. It's gonna be a hell of a ride. I cannot wait to see it. I will review it when it comes out. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna have fun. And guys, thank you for watching. Watch my trailer, watch it again. Tell me what you think. Watch the real trailer, do it all. Get ready, because the Man of Steel is coming. My father believed that if the world found out who I really was, they'd reject me. He was convinced that the 